Hi again. Um, so part two is um, I left off by just stroking the little bit of the eyebrow, finishing it up. Uh, I didn't do that much. I just did that. And then what you want to do is that you want to, with this brush right here, just to stroke it so it's not so, you know, just you got to distribute it so it's not so edgy looking like a line there. Just little strokes, like circle moves like that. Okay, and then after that, what we're going to do is that we're going to um, clean, because you're going to have a mess, guys. After you're done with your dark makeup, you know, applying your makeup, you're going to have a mess on the bottom. And if you do, you just want to get a wipe or a Q-tip with a little bit of oil, you know, makeup uh, remover, and just clean softly on the bottom. Okay, and then the other side. So when you're about to apply the, the base, it's not going to be ugly with black stuff on it. Um, so now we're going to apply the base, the foundation, I should say. All right. And I want to use, I'm going to be using, uh, it's called Vicky. I don't think anybody has heard of this, but it's uh, Vicky. Derma blend. I'm gonna put it right here. Vicky Derma blend. Maybe my camera is not so good. Um, and uh, it says Pond the Taint. It's in French. It's Italian. Cause this is a European um foundation, and it's 35 sand. So it's a pretty color. If you have an olive skin, I use it because I'm olive. And she's olive as well, you know, you know, and um, it's really nice. So I'm going to apply it again with my fingers. And you're going to just, you know, tap it like that. It's like a little powdery. I like it because I'm a tea, I'm an oily tea. And um, this is like a, a, a foundation, but it's not creamy. It's not oily. It becomes like a powder. That's why I like it so much because it's like, you know, so... It distributes itself very well. And we're just gonna look up. Yeah, you wanna cover your lips when you're applying foundation. Any red spots that you see, you know, a lot of us have red spots, so try to get those red spots. And again, don't apply that much. When you're applying foundation, you want to go slow and you want to go gradually because if you apply too much foundation, you're going to look cakey. And we don't want to look like a cake when we go outside. Okay, guys, another thing is that I forgot to mention is that try to use daylight. Daylight is the only light that will tell you the truth of how you look. It's like the best light. So right now, I'm working a little bit with the daylight, and I'm working a little bit with some light that, honestly, it doesn't do the effect of my makeup because it's very pretty, but I'd rather have a better lighting. And next time, I'm going to get better and better. I'm just starting my my videos. So now, as you can see, she's changing. Look, the face is looking more fresh. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to apply. Oh, my God, guys. I got this thing from MAC. Um... I don't know if I can find it. It's the concealer. And it's a Pro Longer Concealer. It's this one right here. This little is magical, let me tell you. I have tried um, a different one for MAC that they have that comes, you know, it's a little bit more creamy, but I don't like it. And this one goes a long way. You just got to pump a little bit because if you pump a lot, you're going to end up your, with a lot of, uh, with a lot of, uh, what was I going to say? A lot of cream. So what I'm going to do, I'm trying to look for that pencil. Okay, this is again from Essence of Beauty. And this is like a, a touch of concealer. It's a brush that looks like this. It has a tip like this. And then on, it has a, another tip like this. I like to use this tip. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to apply a little bit in my finger. 
and be very careful because this thing pumps and pumps a lot. So we're going to apply it. Look up. Look up. Your eyes look up. So we're going to apply it just one, two, three dabs like around the eye like that. And then we're going to use this one right here to distribute it. And then you could use your finger to tap, 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 tap around the eye, tap, tap, tap here. Okay, and then if you have extra left, you're going to go around the nose. You know, because sometimes we have dark circles around the nose and you want to camouflage that. And then you want to be here and around the lips. And then I'm going to show you something. When you are going to apply lipstick, this is going to look very pretty if you do this first. You want to go around your mouth line. okay if you're getting something in your lip it doesn't matter okay and if you have any little blemishes that you want to cover you can do that as well so actually you use the whole cream little by little look up please. okay so now what we're gonna do for the eyebrows, we're going to use our, again, our thing from Revlon, which is the 710, not just nudes. These are the beautiful colors that it has. It's like earthy colors. I don't know if you can see it. It's earthy. I use this one a lot for base. And I'm going to go on the eyebrow just because I want to give it a little touch to make, to distinguish the eyebrow from my makeup. So I go around. Okay, and then here, okay, so now guys, now that I'm done, I'm going to try to, I'm going to use the contour, I'm going to use this one, I like the Stay Spice 05 from Clinique, I uh, like this color a lot, because it's like a, it's like a little tan that you give yourself, you don't want to do it so much, because you don't want to look like, red or orange you just want to go here and you're going to make like the three you're going to go start like this and then go from the top of, in the top of the forehead a little bit on the side so let's go down the temple and then you go one two and three one three one see how i'm doing the same here you're going to start here on the cheekbone and then you go one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Then distribute a little bit in the forehead. Especially if you have like long, uh, like if you have a lot of forehead right here, like if you don't have a lot of baby hair, you might want to do this. So. You could have, it could have like a, it could do like a smaller forehead. It's, you know. So there you go. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna apply a little bit of blush. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna apply like a pinkish blush. I don't wanna apply anything reddish, RNG, tannish, no more. We're gonna do like a pinkish blush. And that's gonna give the effect of like nice. Okay, so this blush is from Palladio. I got it in, uh, uh, I don't I don't remember where I got this, but it was in a drugstore. I don't know if it was CVS or Sally's. I think it was Sally's. I got Pal Palladio. It's all dirty now, but it's Palladio. And the number is BL90. It's really cute. It's like a pink color. It doesn't justify the light, but it's a pretty color. And we're going to apply that. Smile. That's how you want to apply your blush. When you smile, you put it here on the apple of the cheeks. See? 
So you give yourself like, okay? And we're gonna finish it up with a little bit of uh, mascara. Again, if you have a lot of eyelashes, just do a little stroke up, don't do a lot, because it's gonna look too much. If you have and clumpy. Um, and clumpy, but if you have a little bit, you know, try to work them from the inner and just, you know, tickle them up. So what we want to do, look down, look down and just tickle them, look down and stroke them up. The other one, look down and stroke them up. Let me see. And then what we're going to do, since she has a lot of eyelashes, it's a good thing, but we're going to have to use, let me see if I find it, this to make them look up. Close your eye. Hold on. Look up. Look up. See? Look down. You gotta look down and press it for like five seconds. See? Looks different, huh? And then we're gonna use this from Stiletto Maybelline Eyeliner Liquid. It's good because it's precise, it doesn't make so much mess. So we're just gonna do a little bit. Again, in the black line that you did first, that's gonna be your line. I'm gonna do a close up. Take this one, honey. Oh, I'm gonna go with this. If your hands start shaking because you're doing it for the first time, stop and go more into the line, in, into the eye. Don't go like that. Just try to go and press a little bit down. There you go. So, again, I'm gonna use a little bit of powder. I'm using now this one from uh, Clinique. It's a powder, it's a little bit more, a little reddish, you know, it, it, it depends how you feel. If you wanna do a little darker, you know, how you see yourself in the mirror. And for, for the lipsticks, I'm going to be using this one. And I believe this one is from, I don't know what company this is from, honestly. I don't remember. Oh, Lancome. I believe I got this in Lancome. I know because it has a little flower right here, a little icon of Lancome. And uh, this color, can, this is natural beauty cream mm -hmm. yeah it says like come right over this is a natural beauty natural beauty cream it's called natural beauty cream and it's a beautiful pinkish color look i love this color it's so beautiful so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go just a, not a lot you know again don't do too much makeup. Don't try to, don't think because you're putting too much makeup it's going to look good. It's going to look worse. Try to do little by little. Because you want to have a very natural lip looking. And then what you do is that you apply a little bit of powder. Powder gives the effect that is your natural lip. This powder. Well, you want to use like the powder? Where's my powder? Oh my god, I lost my powder. It's a MAC powder that I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. It's right here. God, oh my god, I found it. All right, I'm using the. Mineralized skin finish natural powder, and we're gonna use this first. We're gonna apply it all over the face, okay? 
I'm gonna apply it all over the face with a bigger brush. Close your eyes. So it looks natural. And we're gonna take your finger and you're gonna apply it in the mouth. So it doesn't look so shiny. If you want to take the shine out of the lipstick, that's what you do. See, it looks like a it looks like more natural.